Ciao, ciao, ciao. Ciao, 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 everybody. All right, picking up where we left off. Now we're looking in to see that the concept of reincarnation led the people astray by the Pharisees' doctrine in the past. They thought John the Baptist was literally one of the prophets. To see that this reincarnation concept was already deceiving the children of Israel in the days of Yahweh. Even it was prophesied that John would come in the power and spirit of Elijah which he did do but he was not the soul of elijah himself he just operated like him to lead the people unto repentance as elijah did let's look at luke chapter 1 verse 13 and 17 please luke chapter 1 verse 13 but the angel said unto him fear not zacharias for thy prayer is heard and thy wife elizabeth shall bear thee a son and thou shalt call his name john verse 17 and he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the disobedience to the wisdom of the just to make ready a people prepared for dawn. So we see he came in the power and spirit of Elijah to turn people unto repentance, to prepare a people for Adon, as Elijah did. John himself bear witness to the truth that he was not Elijah, which is witness that they are two different souls that were created. Look at John chapter 1 verse 19 to 27, please. Right. John chapter 1 verse 19. And this is the record of John when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who art thou? And they confessed and denied not, but confess, I am not the Christ. And they asked him, what then? Art thou Elijah? Notice, they thinking Elijah is literally going to come back. This is the concept of reincarnation. They're thinking he's coming back before the end even comes. Continue. And he saith, I am not. Art thou that prophet? That's the prophet of Deuteronomy 18 and 18. They didn't understand that Christ would be that prophet. Continue. And he answered, No. Then said they unto him, Who art thou? that we may give an answer to them that sent us. What sayest thou of thyself? And he said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of Ahiah, as saith the prophet Isaiah. And they which were sent were of the Pharisees. Sadly, their unbelief by believing in reincarnation hindered them from understanding a prophecy because John spoke according to scripture of whom he was and they didn't believe it. And you can continue reading, please. And they asked him and said unto him, Why baptizest thou then, if thou be not the Christ, nor Elijah, neither that prophet? John answered them, saying, I baptize with water, but there standeth one among you, whom ye know not. He it is whose coming after me is preferred before me, whose shoe latches I am not worthy to unloose. And Yahweh testified that he did come in the spirit and power of Elijah, as the prophecy said he would. Now let's jump to... Uh, Matthew 17, verse 1 to 3, and then verse 6 to 13, to hear what Yahweh said. Matthew 17 and 1. And after six days, Yahweh taketh Peter, James, and John, his brother, and brings them up into a high mountain apart, and was transfigured before them. And his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was white as the light. And behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Elijah talking with him. And when the disciples heard it, they fell on their face and were so afraid. That's verse 6. Continue. And Yahweh came and touched them and said, Arise and be not afraid. Okay. So they just saw Elijah, right? Okay. Continue. And when they had lifted up their eyes, they saw no man save Yahweh only. And as they came down from the mountain, Yahweh charged them, saying, Tell the vision to no man, until the Son of Man be risen again from the dead. And his disciples asked him, saying, why then say the scribes that Elijah must first come? Now you see, they just saw Elijah himself. So you can understand why they're asking what they're asking. Let's continue. And Yahweh answered and said unto them, Elijah truly shall first come and restore all things. But I say unto you that Elijah is come already, and they knew him not. But have done unto him whatsoever they listed. Likewise shall also the Son of Man suffer of them. Then the disciples understood that he spake to them of John the Baptist. That lets you know Yahweh wasn't telling them, hey, that was literally Elijah. Right. They understood it because he had spoke with them about John before. Look at Matthew chapter 11, verse 13 to 14, please. Matthew chapter 11, verse 13. 
for all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. And if ye will receive it, this is Elijah, which was for to come. He that have ears to hear, let him hear. That's letting you know he was speaking something that you had to have spiritual ears to hear. He wasn't carnally saying he was Elijah. Right. Okay. The people also thought Christ was a reincarnation. So look at uh, Matthew 16, verse 13 to 14. Matthew chapter 16, verse 13. <clears throat> when Yahshua came into the coast of Caesarea, Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say thou art John the Baptist. Now look at that. Him and John was alive at the same time, and John baptized him, yet they're believing he's actually John. All right. This is the reincarnation concepts. Continue. Some Elijah. And there they go applying to Elijah to him as well. Continue. And others, Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. Now, they thought he was Jeremiah or one of the prophets, not understanding the prophecies either, because there were things mentioned in the Old Testament that they didn't understand. Right. Like, look at uh, 2 Ezra chapter 1, verse 39 to 40, to see where they would get the concept that he had to be one of the former prophets that had come back. Second Andrew chapter 1 verse 39. Unto whom I will give for leaders Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Hosea, Amos, and Micah, Joel, Obadiah, and Jonah, Naham, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zachary, and Malachi which is called also an angel of Ahia. Verses like these, they thought these people were literally going to physically come back. But when he said, I will give them for leaders, all these were prophets prophesying of Yahweh, because everything was about him and for him. So you can see how these would be leaders for us because we have their records. Right. We have the accounts of what they said. Let's confirm that this was what it talked about when it said we have them for leaders. We'll be guided by their words because it was the word of Allah I am speaking in them look at our uh, Luke chapter 16 verse 29 to 31 Luke chapter 16 verse 29 Abraham saith unto him they have Moses and the prophets let them hear them let them hear them Moses is not here on this earth yet we've been told let us hear them because we have to read their words and actually believe it because faith still cometh by hearing and he said nay father Abraham but if one went up to them from the dead, they will repent. And he said unto him, If they hear not Moses and the prophets, they don't believe the law and the testimony. Neither will they be persuaded, though one rose from the dead. So we see how they wouldn't believe in Yahweh if you didn't believe the law and the prophets. Right. And this is how these different doctrines lead us astray from the law and the prophets. And then it causes us not to be believers in Yahweh because it's contrary to the will of his father. Okay. Also, why they were thinking he was Jeremiah as well. Uh, Second Ezra chapter two verse eighteen. For thy help will I send my servant Isaiah and Jeremiah, at the whose counsel I have sanctified and prepared for thee twelve trees laden with diverse fruits. So you see how they thought he could have been Jeremiah, right. when that is not what the prophecy was saying. That prophecy is referring to something in particular. Now, the Father revealed the truth of who Yahche really was. So we saw how the spirit of error had people thinking he was John the Baptist, Elijah, Jeremiah, one of the other prophets, something like that, being somebody reincarnated. But let's see when the Father reveals the truth of the matter. Matthew 16, verse 15 to 17. Matthew chapter 16, verse 15. He saith unto them, But whom say ye that I am? Because he asked initially, what did everybody else say? Right. Because right? everybody else, sadly, was with the doctrine of the Pharisees, Sadducees, and among the scribes and whatnot. And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living Allah. And Yahweh answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Bajona, for flesh and blood have not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. So we see out of the Father revealed the truth of the matter. He was in a reincarnation. He truly is the Mishiaka, the son of Allah. So you see this concept of reincarnation hinders people from understanding the fulfillment of prophecies.
that reincarnation takes you away from what the scriptures are really talking about. To think that these people are coming back on the earth literally when the scripture says everyone is waiting until the appointed time. And the scriptures are very clear in, for example, 1 Corinthians 15, 22 or 23, where it says, Mishiach of the first fruit and them that are his at his coming. So those people will not be here right now. They're going to get raised when he actually comes, as the scripture says. So I hope this was edifying. And um, you got anything? Yeah. It also leads you to believe that you don't have to be perfect, that you have a second chance in life and you can mess up during this life, you can continue living the way you want to live, and you don't have to change, and that you can you can do it again in another life, and that's going to lead a lot of people to um, to hate. It's going to lead a lot of people to, to die in torments, because um, even when you read in like the book of the um, Apocalypse of Peter, or the Apocalypse of Paul, people say, I didn't, I didn't think that I would come to this place. It's because concepts like this, like the concept of reincarnation, that they thought that they could die and that they were going to come back and get another chance. And they didn't get another chance, as the record show. So we have to really be mindful to seek your salvation with fear and trembling now and tarry not from day to day. Turn unto a higher and do it today so that we can actually get our reward of immortality and be raised up with Meshiach and Yache. So that's definitely an admonition for you all. All right. All right. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. <laughs>